What is up, guys? It is the Blue Bloods here, back with another episode, man. And earlier today, we had to cover Grambling's big addition from the transfer portal, but Allcorn State got a huge addition along the defensive line. And former JUCO standout at East Mississippi Community College, Tate Deers, he announced his commitment today on Twitter. And this was a huge pickup. Deer was a part of a big signing class for just recently, OVC champs UT Martin. I mean, if you look on their website, when you look up Tate Deer, he's still in that signing class. But today he flipped his commitment to Alcorn State in what was a giant pickup for that defensive line. Last year, I was very critical of the size and the interior of that defensive line. And Deer is a guy who's going to come in, offer size, athleticism, explosiveness, and just an overall impact player for that defensive line. You look at him and what he's going to bring, man. He played under, of course, Buddy Stevens. An unbeaten regular season led them to the MACCC North Division title in 2021. Had 42 total tackles, six and a half tackles for loss, and one and a half sacks from the inside and from the interior of the defensive line, which is really tough to do. You're constantly battling double teams, constantly battling the running back being right there. I mean, you have to be an absolute monster from the interior of the D-line to make a big impact. And he has the ability to play the nose, the three tech. He can bump out to D-end in special situations. He's able to move along the defensive line very, very well. And he came from Macomb High School before he went to East Mississippi, where he had 78 total tackles as a senior and nine tackles for loss. Um, and this kid, I'm extremely excited, 6'2", 280 out of East Mississippi. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, has three years of eligibility left and is going to be a giant addition to this front This front this front line for Alcorn and you're looking at his highlights, man. He's great with his hands. He's able to keep offensive linemen from engaging with him. He has the power and one-on-one to get after the, get after the quarterback and make sure he can clog up run lanes. He's going to allow the Alcorn linebackers to make a lot of plays because he's going to take up a lot of room on the inside and he's going to require some attention from that, from that offensive line. You're going to have to double-team this guy, and you're going to have to account for him, especially when he gets off the ball like you can see on, on film. And he's able to just get off the ball so quick for his size, and his athleticism at his size is one of the things that I love about his game. Also, footwork is great, man. He's always on balance. He's always keeping his center of gravity in the right spot and just – being able to utilize that power when needed. And that's one of the big things. He's always in position, man. He's got great strength to grab the running back and bring him in. And he's just going to be a guy who I think is going to help Alcorn's rushing defense take a big step forward. My thing for Alcorn this all season was – you had to get size on the offensive line, and you had to get size on the defensive line. And Deer solves that on one side of the football. They did a great job of recruiting offensive linemen as well. Now, they did lose Kabir. He flipped his commitment to Bowling Green, but they still brought some guys in this offseason. But Deer is, is someone who's going to try to get upfield, try to make a play, and he's going, to, he's going to play his role in the interior very, very well. Man, Alcorn has a lot of people, you know, doubting them coming into this year. You saw in the – the, the most recent HBCU preseason poll. They were lower than a lot of people expected. The West Division is going to be wide open. Grambling, Alcorn, Southern, Texas Southern, PV, the defending champs, all over there that could that could make an impact. But pickups like this for Alcorn State are the first step and really and truly becoming a contender, man. They had, they had a lot of losses at certain spots, and I think Deer is someone who's going to come in. If he doesn't start, he's going to be a rotational piece. And with the D-line, man, today in, in, in terms of just defensive football, you're going to want to keep fresh bodies in at all time. And Deer's a guy that you can depend on. Goal line situations, pass rush situations, rushing situations, he's very versatile in where you can use them, and I think that's going to be a big plus for Alcorn State going into 2022 and even further. I, I think he's probably even got room in his frame to add even more weight. I wouldn't be surprised if he's playing up closer to 285, 290 by the season. And I'm really excited to see what he can do, man. But the way he's able just to get off the ball and bring that explosiveness and get after the ball carrier is something that Alcorn lacked at times last year. And this was a huge pickup. Conference champion, played at, played at one of the highest levels of JUCO football, played at last chance U under Buddy Stevens. And that program turns out 
impact players. You look at Jermaine Johnson being a first round pick this past year out of for, from last chance. You the all those programs featured East Mississippi Independence. You can trust those players are going to be impact guys at the next level. And I think Tate Deers coming into Alcorn State to get a starting role to get an impact role for for the Braves going into the 2022 season. Man, so comment your thoughts below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, man, and stay tuned for a lot more recruiting updates on our website, the Blue Bloods pod.com and our youtube channel right here so make sure to hit that subscribe button but until next time guys the blue bloods are out